I'm so excited to be here. Um, for those of y'all who are friends with me or have been following me, um, I did not have COVID. I had, everybody was asking me, did you have COVID? I'm like, no, I had two tests. And then the doctor even gave me an antibodies test. So I've never had it. But what happened is I got a cold um, that turned into bronchitis that turned into pneumonia. And I lost my voice and all my energy. And I'm still having a nap like once a day and um, drink tea and all that good stuff just to kind of build up my lungs. It's so weird because I've been a singer all my life and for whatever reason, it attacks me in my respiratory area. So I wanted to come on and share with you what I am starting on Monday. And I have the link down below and it's also in the chat section. And then if you comment, you can just let me know. Trisha, can you send me the link real quick? So I got to thinking um, about art and crafting and i will tell you being in bed and watching videos and trying to keep myself from going insane being stuck in the house and also kind of being a little mopey you know just having having no interactivity gave me time to be still and it also gave me um a chance to think about like how to keep myself focused and positive during challenging moments right and um, thank you, my hair. Thank you for saying my hair looks marvelous. I'm just excited that I have my hair up and going. Yay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is on Monday, we're going to be starting. And what I'm going to do is give you a little rundown of, of some tools that you need. And I wanted to make the challenge super cheap, like the cost of a movie. And you'll be with me for five days and you can go at your own pace. You're going to have access to all the classes forever. So it's going to be more fun. And so what I'm doing is I'm blending art with crafting, but like a vision board workshop. But instead of a vision board workshop of a bunch of magazine pictures of, oh, I want a new car for this year. Being sick gave me time to reflect and say, okay, what do I want more of in my life? And what is really important to me in this season? And how can I set my mind on that? And what can I have in my environment around it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your own like it's going to be a smaller one, like a mini little art journal. Um, I actually have a little journal that's like half the size of this, right? That I got at Restore for 50 cents. Can you believe it? But I also know of a woman who has done um, art journaling using her checkbook ledger, like an old checkbook ledger. So I'm going to show you how you can use papers around the house. But we are sitting on like wrapping paper. We are sitting on old greeting cards that are just sitting in a box that could mean something or you could bring back to life. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create journal pieces so you don't have to write. If you're not a writer, I'm going to have um, some words sent out, like put together. And when you're once you pay and you're in my Facebook group, I'm going to have a bunch of inspirational words that you'll be able to add to your little pictures and all of that. OK, so this is an example of what we'll be learning. Um, this is an old little greeting card. And just so you know, for those of you all on my challenge, I'm going to give you um, you might need to print it out or whatever. But um or you can go around the house. It's like, so you'll be amazed, like all the stuff that you have around the house, lace or even socks that might have happy words on them. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to use words. Um, and this is just paper that I colored with pencil. And then this is just like a little uh, white paint from um, Walmart. So it can be really inexpensive. The bottom is like tissue paper. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use these pieces to put together really cool, pretty things. But when I think about this and just being, um, you know, sick and going through just strengthening my body, um, I love even looking at this. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. So that's what I want in 2021. I want to 
be more sunshine to other people. And it makes me think, how can I go about doing that? So uh, some of y'all don't feel comfortable writing, um, but you want to express. I think that's why many of us do quilting or we do crafting or we do pottery and things because when we do things with our hands, it tells a story. And then when we do things as well, it it's therapeutic. It's like healing. I know it's been for me. Y'all, if y'all have seen my pages, you're like probably she's a mad woman. But keep in mind, I love to talk, right? I mean, y'all know I love to talk. So having laryngitis and not being able to talk, oh my goodness sakes, all I did was like color and use my pencils and my glitter pens and all that kind of stuff. So this is another example of, um, and this isn't totally finished, but I just wanted to show you, this is um, music paper. And then I found a little birdie, isn't he cute? I found that little birdie at Restore and then a little sticker. Um, this one I did in 2015 and this is a part of my heart that I want to show you that I'm going to help you dive into. There, during this time, we were moving and our son was going through a really hard season in his teen years. And I was selling my marketing company and I was trying to find the way back to myself. Like, what did I want to do? Like, what was my calling? What was my heart calling me to, to do? And um, just a close up of this, this was actually napkins. This is a napkin right here. And the napkin has little words on it. It says, um, delight in the journey, uh, leave a little love um, behind, simply love, fully let go and sail your ship, have faith. And so I loved that napkin. And that was actually just one napkin. Well, as I started doing it on this little um, canvas pad, right, I was like, wow, you know, it's kind of like being um, on a ship and looking down into the ocean and, and it's dark and you don't know what treasures lie beneath the ocean. And I started thinking about that, like what treasures are going to lie in front of me with my opportunities and, and the gifts. and. I don't know about you, but there's been times when I felt like, wow, what talents do I have? Oh, I, do I have any gifts? Thank the Lord. I don't have that anymore because I have walked this journey for so long that I know my purpose and I know my calling. And I literally, even when I'm sick, I'll lay in bed and I'll be on Pinterest and I'll get so excited that I cannot wait to tell you or teach you something new because I know that that is a part of my life work. And that's what I want to do is I want to unlock those pieces within you because sometimes we have this belief that, oh, I'm too old or I'm too chubby or um, I'm not technical enough or I don't know. We tell ourselves so many things like to shoot ourselves down. And I tell you what, the things that we tell ourselves, if somebody that we love, like our husband or our child said it, we would say, oh, would you be quiet and not talk to yourself, like talk about yourself that way? So this, this challenge is going to be a, a challenge to look on the bright side and look at things with a new perspective. And I don't know about you, but 2020 was hard and we did get consumed by so much. And I will tell you, I literally had a gift come out of this. I had a gift come out of having to be still and really think about what was important and what did I want to do more of in my life and what did I want to leave behind. So going back to 2015, you can see this is a little piece of twine and then there's an anchor. So I thought about, wow, if I was sitting my boat down and I needed to anchor it, then I would dive down. Of course, I hate scuba diving. Like it makes me feel claustrophobic. <laughs> it's all a conversation. However, I like love dolphins. Oh my goodness sakes. I'm a dolphin fanatic. So I have a little dolphin there because the dolphin represents for me that joyous and dolphins travel in pods and friendship is really important. And um, they're curious. And I believe just for me, like the dolphin personality to me is that they love to give joy where like leave joy where they go. Um, I remember kayaking in Jekyll Island and um, 
I was singing and the dolphins came up and was swimming around me while I was singing. And it was the most peaceful, amazing experience of my life, right? So that's why then I collected this. I had this little seashell and I wrote the word discover on it. And I'm going to show you how you can take a, a word and you can put it on a seashell. That's just the, some of the stuff that we're going to learn together, right? And then there's my little starfish. And this one's a little blingy. It's a little piece of junk jewelry. And oh my goodness, I bet you have junk jewelry around the house. I know I do where I used to wear earrings. I don't know anymore, but um, where you have like one earring or you have a necklace that's broken. Girl, bring that out because that's what can make mixed media. Mixed media is basically just taking two or more elements and I'll just call it smushing them together. So you might use paper and then you might use pencil and then you might use a glittering pen or you might use um, acrylic paint over the top of it. You can use whatever you want. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the tools and techniques and give you some graphics and stuff to use. And you're going to be able to have some things in your environment that you can set up and um, I totally want to take this up to my bedroom, I think, because my word for the year is leverage. And um, oh, I got chills when I just told you that, because the reason why my my word is leverage is because I'm sitting on things around my house that I could repurpose and turn into something really pretty. And instead of I say re gift it, turn it into something and give it as a gift. Like my mom had like crochet stuff laying around and I made pretty little flowers out of them. Um, so there's things that I want to leverage in my life. Right. And so I think when I leverage things, it's going to open up opportunities for me and it's going to allow me to discover um, more about myself. And I think when I do that, then I'm going to attract more um, friends in my life that feel the same way I do. So I hope you join this challenge with me. Um, I really need to put this back because I need to sing more. I tell you, having laryngitis and losing my voice where I've been on a breathing machine, I still have to do uh, the nebulizer and the breathing treatments. And um, taking for granted the ability to talk and sing. And you know what? I want to sing more of this year. So I'm going to have this in my environment. And where people can be um, down or sad, I just want to be an encouragement. So I'm going to put this back around me. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Because goodness knows news has talked about the long, dark winter and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know what? I want to be some sunshine. Yes, I do. I want to be some sunshine. How about you? All right. So we're going to have a really good time. The class is only $10. You're going to have access to it forever. You can go at your pace. I don't want you to feel like, oh, you know, Tricia, you're giving me too many ideas and I can't keep up. I'm going to show you how to use Mod Podge, right? I'm going to show you how to use stuff from like the dollar store that's super duper duper cheap. Um, and if you have a Habitat for Humanity restore, things that you can find, and also some things that you might have laying around the house that you go, oh my goodness sakes, I totally forgot that I had that. And we're going to create some beautiful art. And more importantly, you're going to have some journal prompts and so forth. You don't have to write, but what do you want in your environment that you would love to have more of in your life? Is it, Trisha, you know what? I want to have more joy. I want to have a closer relationship um, with someone in my life. How do I go about doing that? I do believe that what, what you focus on, you find. What you focus on expands. And what you focus on, you become. So what is our, what is our focus fixed on? What is in our environment that can fuel our focus to be our best self? For me, it's also my Heavenly Father and my Bible scriptures and I love being able to put Bible scriptures and turn them into affirmations. So that way I remember who God created me to be. And that, you know, I may not be the skinniest girl in the world, but you know what? He made me beautiful just the way I am. And 
if I eat too many brownies some days, well, I eat too many brownies some days. I say that because I just ate some brownies. I know I shouldn't make brownies, but they were good. <laughs> so join me on the challenge, okay? And then in the first email, I will give you a little um, sheet of some things that you can go ahead and get around the house and we're just gonna have some fun okay so i love you bunches and it's great to be back with you and i've got some exciting things coming as well but i think the first thing is join the challenge with me let's have some fun i mean that's just the that's cheaper than running a movie on netflix and this is something that we can um have some fun together and um i'm going to teach you some things that i think that's really going to impact your life for this year Actually, I don't think. I know. I promise you. Um, okay? So um, if you want to read more about my background in coaching and how I incorporate art, you can just go to unstoppablewarrior.com. But that link below there, um, go there. If you can't remember the link, just message me and say, Trisha, girl, give me the link. All right? And I'll get you set up for the challenge. All right. Well, I want to leave you with... Do what you love, okay, because life is too short to get caught up in things that I know you have to do your task list and your to-do list, but I want you to do more of what you love and what brings joy to your heart and to your life and to your health mentally, physically, spiritually, okay? So anyways, thanks for listening to me. I know I talked your ear off, but it's so great to be back with you. And I'll be teaching some more, but um, jump on with me Monday. Okay. All right. I love you bunches. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care.